Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve this differential equation. Firstly, I'm going to divide the entire equation by using cos squared x, and we should obtain divide the x plus 5 divided by cos squared x is equal to tangent x divided by cos squared x. And we know that 1 over cos is simply secant, which means that we should obtain divide the x plus secant squared x times y is equal to secant squared x times tangent x. And this is in the form of dy dx plus px times y is equal to qx and we can apply the integration by integrating factor so the integrating factor is equal to e to the power of integrate px with respect to x so which means that we have e to the power of integrate secant square x with respect to x and we should obtain e to the power of tangent x Recall that when we differentiate the integrating factor times y with respect to x, we should obtain the integrating factor times qx. This implies that e to the power of tangent x times y, when we differentiate with respect to x, is equal to e to the power of tangent x times secant squared x times tangent x. What we have to do next is to integrate both sides with respect to x. For the left hand side, integrate, differentiate, cancel each other, no more. dx cancel with dx. So we left e to the power of tangent x times y. And this is equal to, for the right hand side, we can apply integration by parts. So we let u be equal to tangent x, while integrate dv be equal to integrate e to the power of tangent x secant squared x dx so when we differentiate u with respect to x we obtain secant squared x dx and for integrate differentiate cancel each other we have v and this is equal to we can apply the integration by standard form for this case recall that if we integrate e to the power of fx times f prime x dx we should obtain e to the power of fx plus constant c. By comparing, we should have e to the power of tangent x. We don't have to add the constant c here since this is incomplete integration. Recall that when we integrate u with respect to v, we should have uv minus integrate v du. So which means that this is equal to tangent x times e to the power of tangent x minus integrate e to the power of tangent x times secant squared x dx so we have tangent x e to the power tangent x minus this is exactly the same as this one so result exactly the same e to the power tangent x and remember to add the constant c since the integration is complete which means that the right hand side can be written as tangent x e to the power tangent x minus e to the power tangent x plus constant c Lastly, to express y in terms of x, let's divide the entire equation by e to the power of tangent x. And we should have y is equal to tangent x minus 1 plus c divided by e to the power of tangent x, or simply c times e to the power of negative tangent x, and hence with that. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you.